La Boca Formation is a geological formation in Tamaulipas State. When Mexico evolved in a convergent plate margin, with the Gulf of Mexico remaining as a restricted basin and a passive margin. The influence of this arc is seen on the fact continental units deposited back then volcanic materials in both non-marine strata. The development of fluvial channels and the flooding of surfaces was restricted, mostly due to the presence of flanking volcanic activity, as well the local Paleozoic basement highs. In this outcrop, the fluvial system evolved on several ways, from braided to ephemeral sandy meandering towards the north, with the presence of common laminated sand sheets, likely a local indicator of unconfined flash floods across floodplains, with some sections recovering periods of desiccation thanks to the presence of mud cracks. Species of Clevisaurus were likely insectivorous. Biomechanical modeling suggests that they had high enough tooth pressures and strong enough bite force to crush chitin, indicating that they had the ability to feed on thick shell. Growth patterns in the teeth of Sinosphenodon suggest its close relationship with the modern Tuatara. A pterosaur of uncertain phylogenetic placement, being originally proposed as a member of the genus Dimorphodon, although, has some great differences with the original holotype. The knowledge of how Dimorphodon lived is limited. It perhaps mainly inhabited coastal regions and might have had a very varied diet. Some suggested it ate insects, later, it became common to depict it as a piscivore. Heterodontosaurus is the eponymous and best-known member of the family Heterodontosauridae. This family is considered a basal group within the order of Ornithischian dinosaurs, while their closest affinities within the group are debated. The genus of Heterodontosaur of this formation is dubious. Megabnosaurus is also a dubious genus for the location, as we only found partial dorsal vertebrates, making it an indeterminate coelophysoidian. In Megabnosaurus, healed fractures of the tibia and metatarsus have been observed, but are very rare. An indeterminate ceratosaur has been found, some cranial fragmentary elements. Some suggest it could have been a Berberosaurus, or a close relative. These animals are thought to have been herbivorous, feeding on vegetation, such as stems, leaves, and roots, although at least one may have had a more omnivorous diet.
El Gallo Formation is a geological formation in Mexico whose strata date back to the late Cretaceous. There's a lot of indeterminate dinosaurs from this formation, with possibly Tyrannosaurs, Hadrosaurs, or Ankylosaurs. All these fossils have no genus name yet, because they aren't studied yet. Polyglophanodon is known from several mostly complete and partial skeletons. It is distinguished by its transversely orientated interlocking teeth, which suggest a herbivorous diet. As a hadrosaurid, Gryposaurus would have been a bipedal quadrupedal herbivore, eating a variety of plants. Its skull had special joints that permitted a grinding motion analogous to chewing, and its teeth were continually replacing and packed into dental batteries that contained hundreds of teeth, only a relative handful of which were in use at any time. Magnapolia is noted for its great size and the tall profile of its tail, which had elongated chevrons and vertebral spines like those of Hypacrosaurus. Its size was estimated by its original describer as between 16 meters long, with a body mass of up to 8 metric tons. This Lambiosaurus is a dubious species of the genus. It is more likely another species of Magnapolia, but a little smaller. The hand function of chirostenotes may have been an adaptation to crevice probing. It suggested that it may have fed on soft-bodied prey that could be impaled by the second claw, such as grubs, as well as unarmored amphibians. The wear patterns of all Truden teeth suggest a diet of soft foods inconsistent with bone chewing and vertebrate exoskeletons or tough plant items. So the diet primarily consisting of meat, a pellet possibly belonging to Truden suggests it hunted early mammals such as Mazadma.
The Cerro del Pueblo Formation is a geological formation in Coahuila, Mexico whose strata date back to the late Cretaceous. Dinosaur remains are among the fossils that have been recovered from the formation. Mixichlis is a dubious genus of marine turtle. It may be another species of the already known euclasts. The genus can be distinguished by later sea turtles based on its broad, low skull, broad, flat palate, wide, flat dentary bone with an elongated symphysis, and low tomial ridge on the beak. The widened palate and dentaries give Eosalon wide, flat jaws suitable for crushing hard-shelled organisms. Only an osteoderm has been found from this animal. Glyptodontopelta is the closest geographic genus known, but it can be another genus we don't know yet. Same thing about the Alatopelta, there is not enough material to understand clearly if it's a new genus or not. However, these two last genus are ground eaters herbivorous animals. The disarticulated holotype of Menophyseratops was collected in a greenish gray mudstone alongside an isolated trianachid turtle costal and fragments of fossilized woods. However, this holotype comes from another formation, but the Cerro del Pueblo formation was a coastal environment too at this period. Sierra Ceratops was a medium-sized horned dinosaur. Compared to other chasmosaurs, it has short but massive brow horns that are relatively short and robust and a long cheek horn on the jugal. Although based on incomplete remains, Coahuilaceratops is thought to possess among the largest horns of any dinosaur currently known, rivaling in absolute size those of larger chasmosaurines like Triceratops. The nasal crest of Critosaurus, whatever its true form, may have been used for a variety of social functions, such as identification of sexes or species and social ranking. There may have been inflatable air sacs flanking it for both visual and auditory signaling. As a hadrosaurid, Critosaurus would have been a large bipedal quadrupedal herbivore, eating plants with a sophisticated skull that permitted a grinding motion analogous to chewing. Lateranus was probably a gregarious hadrosaurid with a low back and a very broad nose. However, some authors suggest that it was actually a lambiosaurine, instead of a sauroliphene as it was initially described, 
thus making the phylogenetic position of this animal in relation to other hadrosaurids still uncertain. Villafrons was most similar to young specimens of Carithosaurus and was found to be a Carithosaurin in the phylogenetic analysis performed by Gates in their description of the genus. The skull was large in comparison to skulls from other genera at a similar growth stage, so the crest may have been small in adults or followed a different growth pattern. Platolophus is a close relative to the more famous Parasaurolophus. Based on the fossil elements of the holotype, the specimen was an adult. The length of Paraxinosaurus has been estimated at 6 meters and its weight at 600 kilograms. Paraxinosaurus lived alongside Corvallaceratops, Lateranus, and Villafrons, and other undescribed ornithomimosaurs. This area was most likely a coastal plain during the late Cretaceous. At least a few studies have speculated a passivorous lifestyle for Richardoesthesia, due to its vast distribution as well as predominance in marine sites.